So we are laying out the, um, the foam that is going to go on the uh, elevator. So we're doing our layout over a uh, board, plastic board, and making the cutouts for the uh, foam. Okay, so we um, we laid out the uh, two layers of cloth, uh, got our foam in there, and Bruce is uh, making up the final touches, uh, and let it set up a little bit before we uh, put a layer of cloth over this one. And this is the left elevator. So this is uh, Bruce and I, and uh, we are now sealing up the uh, elevator. And uh, we made some uh, peanut butter here with uh, flux, epoxy, and we are now applying it across all the wooden laundrons and ribs of the elevator and sealing up the trailing edge with a mixture of flux and uh, epoxy. Uh, Bruce now has a PhD in fluxing and that's what we're doing. So you can see the uh, sandwich uh, foam in uh, three layers of uh, glass. So this elevator construction does not sandwich in uh, a bunch of foam. We just uh, use a, a quarter inch foam, lined it out, and layered it in a manner that uh, we have more glass than we do foam, but the, uh, when we sandwich these structures together, they are very, very strong and very tough. And uh, this part of the elevator is the part that carries the uh, trim tab. Yeah, I want to talk about the, uh, the strength of this fiberglass uh, sandwich structure. Uh, if you listen right here, if you can see right here, there is no foam on the inside of the fiberglass. But this is a layer of foam right here, the yellow, with uh, three layers of fiberglass. It's three layers and three layers, but listen to this. A little plastic sounding. We come here, and it's just solid. So that is the difference of the uh, sandwich structure and the strength that it provides to this, uh, to this elevator. Okay. Just wanted to, uh, another thing I wanted to touch on, you see these little holes that you see here, right here, and uh, all along, all along the uh, wood frame. This is where we staple the skin. Once we epoxy on the back side of the skin with some flux also, then uh, we lay it on here, and this is so smooth and so slippery that we have to uh, put staples all along here until the epoxy dries. And then uh, once it dries and this becomes a sandwich structure, then we remove the staples and these uh, we'll put Bondo over these holes and uh, cover them up uh, before we sand and finish. Uh, the elevator. And here you can see where I did some sanding and everything. But, uh, uh, right now we're working on getting the shape of the leading edge and we're glassing it and then putting it in our oven over there, which is the back of my truck. So we got a heater in there and we put the blankets over to retain the heat and the other elevator is in there right now because we already finished glassing the nose piece right here 
which is the nose piece of the elevator structure. Right? So there you go. This is the uh, elevator, and we're about to uh, glass the uh, nose piece of the elevator. And uh, this is our uh, stand that we built for it so we could work. Uh, the tape is a cutting line, so we will go ahead and glass over the black tape. The green tape is just to make sure we don't get uh, we don't get anything on the uh, elevator. But the black line, then we glass over it, and it will be a cutting line that gives us a ridge to blend into the rest of the elevator. Alrighty, we need to get back to work. Okay, so uh, now we are trimming the fiberglass once on the nose piece once it is uh, green state. It's in the green state, meaning that it's not completely dry or hardened, but it's dry enough to work with. And uh, we're trimming it, just as uh, Bruce is doing here, and as we pull the uh, tape away, you see we are left with a very sharp edge, or a very sharp corner, and we will then later sand and feather into the uh, skin. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, maybe I'm looking at that. There you go. Really good blog. People will be kind of curious about that one. This I learned from those... Uh, um, composite books, you know. I don't know what's yep. so hard. I got this in on my email. By the way, if you want to email, it's Rick Roberts Show. Uh, two and uh, you can see how uh, precise uh, this could be. But it is what you want it to be. So Alrighty.